on this episode of the NES Pursuit. I don't, I don't, I don't want to go too hard. Riff and NES Complex get together in the hunt for all things retro. So he was running around touching everything. I felt like a dad, like, stop touching that. Don't, hey, whoa, put that down. You're going to break that. Riff dives deep in the search for Sega Master System. Look, so just grab whatever you want. <laughs> Here, wait, 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 okay. The boys fight the heat to find some brilliant Nintendo collectibles. Oh my gosh, that old Super Mario Bros. What is that? And what happens when two game hunters both claim the same thing at the same time? Oh, I can't handle the pressure. I can't handle it. Prepare your bodies for vintage games, epic battles, gorgeous toys, and good times in retro gaming. He, I don't know what he says about it, I don't know his perspective on it, but from my perspective, it was not claimed by anyone. heading out with NES Complex to go over to Pixel Vault Games. Or unfortunately, Ricky's not gonna be with us today. Ricky's no longer with us. And it is a fun place that I've been to before a good friend of ours, Armando, works there. I'm looking for Sega Master System stuff. I'm looking for Super Nintendo games. I'm trying to bulk that part of the collection back up. I am praying and hoping he has it because that's what I'm looking for today. Let's go. These loud cars are driving us nuts! So we get into Pixel Vault and I love this place. It just has that aroma of retro video games and there was people in there talking about video games. Oh, hey, 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 hey. it's coming up. How's it going? How are you been? Hey. Good to see you. How's it going? There's a lot of cool things from all all kinds of retro stuff, board games and other paraphernalia, and of course the games. This is the kind of place, as a retro person, as a nostalgic person, you love being in a place like this. Yes, everything is very good. It's in the lobby. And then he had grilled up some steak and chicken, which was delicious. This is gonna be delicious. Well, I want some steak too. You're supposed to use this tongue. Oh, whoops. Oh. Teenage Mutant Ninja Yoshi. Oh my gosh, I've been looking everywhere for this. I just can't, I'd love to get these limited edition Mega Man headphones. I saw some Mega Man headphones that I was interested in, but I know that a, a certain friend of ours who will go unnamed, he also is interested in those for myself. Wouldn't that be awesome? So I didn't I didn't want to steal it from him. Although I know there is tons of video games in this store I would like to pick up ideally, but I know where I'm going. I'm headed straight for Sega Master System stuff. What so show me what you got on Master System. Alright, loose or uh I kind of, so I'm starting kind of fresh on Master System. I basically don't have anything left for Master System. So I am basically starting over at ground zero with Master System. So okay. I'd rather buy like the cheap and get more than get like three more expensive games that, you know. When I'm looking at stuff for Sega Master System, I am always drawn to the boxes and the way they look. I particularly enjoy the way they look even though they're simple and the simplicity in those games speak to me for some reason. I don't know why exactly. Sega, all kinds of games, all kinds of fun. Sega, let the games begin. Choplifter played this quite a bit as a kid. Hang on slash Astro Warrior played this a lot as a kid. Ghostbusters played this a lot as a kid. While I'm looking at the video games, I look over to my left. I feel Ricky breathing down my neck. And 
I see Ricky. Ricky shows up. A wild Ricky appeared, literally with no warning, no heads up, and he was just there. Are you on the clock? Uh oh. Yeah. I got like five, I got like <laughs> five minutes. Ricky plays hooky. And little did I know, Ricky was there all along. Ricky's like Jesus, only darker. You're you're playing with other people. The problem is that I don't see anything that I'm looking for. I mean, I'm looking for Super Nintendo, and he had a lot of Super Nintendo games, just nothing that I was needing or really wanted that badly. I'm looking at things, but the things I'm looking at aren't the things I'm looking for. <laughs> We're interviewing Rob. So, uh, Rob, uh, what's it like to be the cameraman for a YouTube channel? If you're happy and you know it, spank your cat. So I finally decide what games I want. So I head over to Armando and tell him what I want. I'm looking at a few different games. Want for sure is Hang On Slash Astro Warrior, for nostalgia okay. reasons. Thunderblade because I like the game. Okay. And R-Type because I like the game. Those are the, the three I want right now. R-Type, Wonder Boy and Monster Land, Hang On and Astro Warrior, Ghostbusters and Thunderblade. No, I'm gonna do two more. No, all right, fine. I don't know though. This is the best game in the lot. Wonder Boy and Monster Land. Armando goes on to tell me that don't worry about the prices. He's gonna hook me up as he always does. He's an awesome guy in the community. Likes to hook up other people that love retro games. But. Look, so, so 35 just minutes. grab whatever you want. <laughs> Here, wait, 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 okay. So Armando comes up with his total price and he says it's about... Da, 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 da. So, you're close to like, it's like one even right here, okay? Okay. A hundred dollars, but he's willing to give it to me. Dude, uh, I'll knock off 30 bucks for you, man, so it'll be like, you're getting this one for free. Uh, this is when I pull out my backpack, take off my backpack, and show him what I got. I got this. Oh, oh that's nice. With a Game and Boy. And it's actually the smaller version one. It is. I have a Game Boy case that I just recently picked up along with the Game Boy inside of it. Sweaty. With a Game Boy? Yeah, with the Game Boy. And an old school, beautiful mint condition. 1982 and it's mint condition. I mean mint. You won't find one scratch or ding on any of this. Pac-Man tall glass cup. Ding or out of anything on it. <laughs> Why would you do that? We'll talk about this. This is what I do, okay? Okay. Armando takes a look at these things, kind of assesses everything, and ends up coming back to me for the five games that I got. Uh, we were I, talking about the sentimental value earlier. You tell me what you want okay, to do this one. Okay, well, I'll just be honest with you. I bought this for this both for 20 bucks. Okay. About a week ago. Okay. Well, some of these games are worth like $35 loose by themselves. 50 bucks? That sounds great to me. I am beyond thankful, and my Sega Master System, the SMS Pursuit, has begun today. I was okay. scared you were gonna knock this off. Oh my gosh, I didn't think about I that, you're right. <laughs> Chris, say something intellectual. Science. Intellectual. So. Oh my gosh, you're the worst. He's doing it on purpose. Why? There's no question that guy's doing that on purpose. All right, anyway. <laughs> Sweet dude. Right. Thank you. you. I appreciate yeah, it. No Thank you. Yeah. All right, man. Have a good one. Bye. And the next place we're going is a place called Game Swappers, which I've never been. So after leaving Pixel Vault, we're heading up to Game Swappers. It's only about a block away. We're well fed. We're ready to go. Hopefully, we find some games there. Oh my gosh, it's really hot right now. This is like uncomfortably miserable. Right now. It's 115 degrees right now. Let's go to another store. Chris has been telling me about it, so we're gonna go, and I hope to continue my Sega Master System journey there for a good price. It's old news. Hey! No! Crickets. <laughs> So 
I thought this would be a great place to go. I bought Shadow Complex here. I got to rob the robot recently. I was really excited, but when we walked in, Everything was in boxes. The shelves were empty because they're going to Comic-Con. But they're packing up and going to Comic-Con, so unfortunately, no deals today. For now, <laughs> I'm following wherever Chris takes me. I'm just following him wherever he goes, even though he keeps running red lights and leaving me in the dust. Bite the dust. So hot. It's 95, I looked, it's 95. Now this store is really cool. Good. You're gonna like this Literally, place. Literally, both ways. So I've been to Enforce before and I know it's a great place and I wanted to take Riff and show him all the awesome toys that were there. Left this phone in the car. Classic NES Pursuit mistake. You <laughs> wanna know how retro I am? Guess what kind of phone I got? I got a new phone two days ago. Is it a flip phone? The Pixel. We are in the antique district of Pomona, and there's all kinds of cool antique stores around here. But this antique store is devoted to toys and games, retro toys and games. And I've never been here before, or even heard of it, or even been in this area. I haven't even walked in this store yet. I'm obsessed with The Simpsons. It's like everything I like to collect in the toy world. And this is in the front already. It's really cool. There's gonna be a lot of Star Wars. There's gonna be all kinds of He-Man, and Mask, and Transformers, and... G.I. Joe toys. So let's do it. So we walk into Enforce, and I was not expecting everything they had in this store. Everything was mint and crisp. So we walk inside, and he is just his jaw is hanging open. He's pointing at everything. He, you know, he, you know him. He's a little ADD, a little hyper. Everything that I like, it was surrounding me everywhere I could look. So I found this section in there where they had hundreds of garbage pill kids and they were a dollar each and so I was hoping I could find maybe something from series one. I just did a video on the garbage pill kids and I don't have any, I don't have Crater Chris, actual Crater Chris for me, you know, my name. And so I'm hoping that they maybe have it in here, but it's gonna be a long, long slog. I have a feeling there's like not gonna be a lot of, of series one in here though, uh, but everything was series two or three, and I don't need that. I have series two and three, so. Oh well, I struck out, but at least I tried. And trying is half the battle. Wait, no, that's wrong. I'm seeing a lot of video games and a lot of really cool things that catch my eye, but I'm kind of drawn to this little Nintendo display collectible area, little figures, stuff like that. So I'm walking through the store and I see this one little, this little Nintendo Power patch. And I love Nintendo Power. I do a whole show on Nintendo Power. So I'm thinking, I want to get this. And I'm like, hey, hey, Riff, check this out. And he's like, oh yeah, could you hold the camera for a second? Mm -hmm. This just got pointed out to me by Chris, this beautiful, Nintendo Power little patch. And he takes it out from under my nose. Like, what's that about? I'm gonna be buying this. Oh, it's snap. Only eight bucks. You, you basically just. Now Chris saw it first. He called it out, and I was kind of like, hey, hold the camera really quick. And he took the camera, and as soon as he did. What is it? You caught me slippery? What I, is I it? I undercutted your butt. I pointed it out to you, yeah. and then you handed me the camera to film you. That's what I did. And then you key. said you're gonna buy it. Yeah. I didn't know that's the way the pursuit played out. As Chris is still filming, the next thing that I see is probably the coolest thing in the store that I saw first. Oh my gosh, that old Super Mario Bros. What is that? And this is a little Nintendo clock. This thing's yellow. A little bullet bill is the second timer that goes around. Can I see that? So then, he was looking at this little clock. I thought he was looking at this clock just for the uh, purposes of B-roll. Wow. 
I had to have this. They grabbed it right away, told the guy, please, can I grab this? Can I take this? The price was very cheap, simple. There was no problems. Super Mario Bros. clock. Hey, it even matches your shirt. And I had no idea that he actually wanted to buy it. Do you know if it works? I mean, not that it's uh, super make or break for I me. I can but test it out for you. I think I have a battery. This okay. is mine. I saw it, and I'm going to get it. So I was like, oh, can I see that too? And so I'm looking at it. I'm like, I think I want to buy this. And he's like, whoa, wait a second. I was going to buy that. But you know what? It was never said. When the camera wasn't rolling, Chris and I kind of started to banter back and forth about the clock. And I was like, what are we arguing about? This is my clock. I saw it first. And he kind of, it works. I want to get that. It made me think that somehow he saw it as well at the same time as I did and we had some reason to fight over who actually gets it and, and I bought it. It worked. I was like a, like, a, like a stupid idiot in the store. Like he, I don't know what he says about it. I don't know his perspective on it, but from my perspective, it was not claimed by anyone. Bro, come on! We're in a pickle. We have a, a problem where, so we both wanted it. So what do you do in a situation like that? No, I don't think so. I think we need to do some sort of, uh, some sort of contest. Was he wanted to do a staring contest, which I'm terrible at, so I said no. Okay. Like a staring contest. No, I'm terrible. No, they, that's they, perfect. They he said he wouldn't be able to last for four seconds. So, staring contest is out the window. I'm like, let's do rock, paper, scissors. Okay, what rock, about paper, rock, scissors, paper, one scissors? One out of one. One no, out of one. Two out of three. Okay, two out of three. There's, there's no tension in okay, one out, out of three. one. At first he said, let's just do one. Just one. I'm like, no, that's not exciting, and I'm glad we didn't. <gasps> Dang, you did it again. <laughs> Okay, one out of... Because he won the first round. Rock, paper, scissors is getting intense. One point for Riff. Here we go. Oh, oh no. I can't handle the pressure. I can't handle it. Yeah. Second round, I get a point. One point for Chris. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Third round, tie. We tie. Wow, the tension. Could the tension possibly get greater? Okay. Guy. Try to be a good person so you don't make it worse. And Chris wins. I somehow not only got tricked into doing something that I shouldn't have had to do, but then I lost and let him actually do it. I never agreed to this. <laughs> you totally agreed to it. I don't even want the patch anymore. We should have just. And it was sweet. It was a sweet victory. I feel bad for Ricky in all these episodes, always getting punked by Riff. <laughs> Wanna talk about Riff's full on meltdown? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's not taking it so well. And then, so while I'm basking in the excitement and glory of winning this beautiful clock, <gasps> I look over and Riff's on the ground. He's like crying, he's in the fetal position. He needs to be consoled. But not really, cause I'm five. If I'm honest, I'm upset. I feel kinda guilty. Liar! You're liar! <laughs> I'm not You're lying. lying. Liar. Oh sure, he edits this, so I'm gonna look bad no matter what happens. I, I mean, I'm seeing some Mega Man X's there, and I was thinking about getting one as a, to give away with this new video coming out, but I'm not sure. As we're walking around, checking out cool thing after cool thing, I spy on the corner of the store, not in the Nintendo collectible area, just kind of sitting by itself. I'm gonna get some right here, if that's cool. This old school vintage 1989 Mario piggy bank. Now this piggy bank is in really good condition. It's really clean, especially for being 1989. I'm gonna get this vintage Mario bank. It doesn't have the bottom, which is fine with me because I'm gonna not be using it for bank purposes. I'm gonna be using it for display purposes. The price is just right now. The bottom piece of Mario is missing. Yeah, this is a cool, cool little bank. I don't, I don't really care about the bottom right now. This is, this is wonderful. So for a cheap price, I got a cool little Mario piggy bank to put my money in. Okay, this is what I'm gonna get. Shank. That's that's like better than a real bank. Wrong. Move over, Bank of America. So 
this was a great day. I had a lot of fun going to Pixel Vault and looking there and we... It matches me though, man. It was like it was me. And that's it for the day. What a great day and thank you for watching. Let me just put this in my bank. Thanks, Mario. It was just really good to hang out. It's always good to hang out with Riff and be part of the NES pursuit. If I'm honest, I'm upset. Adios. I'm, a real truth, like off if camera wasn't rolling, I'm pretty upset I didn't get You'd caught. You'd hurt me. No, I'm just upset I didn't get caught. Yeah. I was kind of mad, I'm not gonna lie. I thought I had it first, but wow. Sometimes I say things I shouldn't on this channel, but you know? That's the way game chasing go. Time for you to go to a vintage toy store and look for a Mario clock. Collectibles, they have vintage toys and vintage games and vintage everything. Is that actually what, do they have vintage video game geek? No, but he's been there. I'm supposed to be interviewing you guys, come on. People are honking at us. Honk if you love Nest Pursuit. Oops, I called it Nest. Honk, <laughs> that? 